hello everyone welcome once again and we have another integral problem over here so we have to evaluate the integral this so let's look at that now we have the integral of 9 sine exponent 5 x minus 2 cos cube 3 x here then we have cosec to the power 4 and 3x dx now one thing you must know so now we must break everything down now cosec cosec which is this uh, c this you see over here is just equal to 1 over sine x so cosec is just 1 over sine x so therefore we have the integral of 9 sine exponent 5x minus 2 cos cube 3x that then we have cosec to the fourth power is just um 1 over sine to the fourth power then 3x then dx all right so we have this now we have 1 over sine to the fourth power 3x multiplying the whole thing so let's expand it now so we have 9 sine 5 to the power as that so this we have sine to the fourth power then 3x here minus 2 cos cube then 3x here divided by sine to the fourth power then 3x that then we have the x so what we just did was to expand that so now from here this whole thing goes away then it will be left with one of it right then over here we can't cancel because we have cos and we have sine over here so this is what we have now let's write it down here so we have um, 9 sine x minus 2 cos cube 3x over sine to the fourth power 3x then we have the x all right so we have the x now this is what we have now in the first part of the integral it will be very easy to solve when we integrate with respect to x because 9 is a constant and therefore um integrating sine x is just negative cos so the first part of the integral will be very simple now if we look at the second part now we have cos and we have sine over here so what we are going to do right now is to um change the cos to sine because we have sign here and we have sign here so the best thing is to change the cos here to sign and also from um from trick identity so we have um trick identity from trick identity we establish okay so from trick identity so let's continue here So from tree identity, we know that if we have cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1, right? Right, so cos squared x is just 1 over sine squared x so now what we want to do right now is to write this cos here in terms of sine so now it will be like this 9 sine x here then minus 2 then we can have cos squared x divided by sine to the fourth power 3x right so it is 3x then multiplied by cos 3x because it is to the power cube so if we have square here then there is 
to the power one then it will be cube so we are just replacing cos squared 3x over here with one minus sine of that so we have 9 sine x here minus all of that is just 2 then we have 1 minus sine squared and we have 3x divided by sine so we have this divided by sine to the fourth power then we have 3x here then still multiplied by cos 3x then remember still with the x and we still with the x all right so this is what we have now we have sine 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 so we can easily do that we can easily um, solve for um, find integrate but um, what I want to do right now is um, we can also uh, as I said before differentiating the first part of the integral is very simple but differentiating integrate sorry integrating this part would be a bit of a bit complicated so what we are going to do is that we are going to let sine x be equal to u so we're going to let sine s be equal to u so that when sine s is equal to u then so that we replace the sine here with um the u so we said equal to sine 3s equal to u rather so now let's integrate this part so we have the integral of um so let's say we have 9 outside then we have sine x dx now i'm not going to replace u with um sine 3x sorry it is sine 3x this 3x and it is 3x so it is sine 3x i'm not going to replace sine 3x with u because it is easy to solve sine 3x so i'm just going to replace the other part so so let's say we have 9 and sine 3x right the x then minus 2 outside then we can have 1 minus then u to the power squared over u to the fourth power then multiplied by cos 3 and still with the x right now this is what we have now i said let s sine 3 s be equal to u so therefore if we have um we differentiate the u with respect to x so differentiating the u with respect to x then we can have um so what we we'll do is that we dif um, we differentiate the sign we differentiate sign we get cos then we repeat the uh, 3x and after that we differentiate um the uh, 3x we differentiate the 3 x we have 3 so we have um our du sorry our so find the value of dx so what i'm going to do is that the ds value here we're going to replace it over here so the value of dx is just dx here is just du right over cos 3x so we say 3 cos 3x right so let's substitute that in now let's um, integrate this part so integrating sine 3s is just if you integrate sine you get negative cos 3x here then divided by 3 then we have minus 2 here then over here we can write it u to the power 4 then also minus u squared then u to the power 4 right this side then multiplied by cos 3x then for the dx our ds is this so we replace it by du by du divided by 3 cos 3x so realize that cos 3s cancel cos 3x 
and we have um three over here which goes here all right so three also cancel goes into nine three times and we have negative three cos three x here yeah. then minus two still with the integral now this can be written as u to the power negative four then minus u now when it goes up it becomes two minus four which is negative two then we are left with um our du over three right all right okay so this is what we have then from there we from here we have negative three cos three x here then let me bring this three down here so i have two over three here then we integrate now so integrating u to the power four what you do is that it is u to the power four then we add one then we divide it by the exponent we divide it by an exponent same here minus two we add one then we divide by the exponent now all of this will be equal to c right because it is an indefinite integral so we have this now from here we have negative 3 cos 3s still then 2 over 3 then let's simplify this so we have u neg 3 so it is negative here then divided by 3 here minus u neg 1 then neg 1 here plus c so we have negative 3 cos 3x here now over here we are going to get negative negative which is positive so we are going to get positive 2 over 3 times 3 is 9 then we can have um, u down there so u then becomes positive because we send it down there when you take it up it's negative then we have negative 2 over 3 multiplying negative and there is another negative over here so negative negative gives positive positive multiplied by negative then we have negative then 1 over u then plus c right so from here we have 3 cos 3x plus 2 over 9 now we can substitute the value of u because we set the, the u over here over here we let sign 3s be equal to u so over here we have 3 cos 3s 2 over 9 then we have um, this as sign 3x cube then minus 1 divided by sine 3x so finally you can leave okay so finally we can have um, now over here negative 2 over 3 also multiplies that so we have um, 2 over 3 then 2 then 3 yeah all right all right then all right so finally we can conclude that um our integral which was um okay. so let me write it this way now from here now we have sine one over sine but one over sine which is three x is equal to cosec three x so let's replace that here so we have negative 3 cos 3x plus 2 over 9 then 1 over that is just cosec cube 3x then minus 2 over 3 then becomes cosec 3x over here then we can leave it 
this way so either you leave it this way or you further um substitute it here so we have this so finally i can conclude that the integral of 9 sine to the fifth power 3x minus 2 cos 3 then we have 3x here all of that then we have cosec to the fourth power 3x dx is equal to so all of this is equal to 3 cos 3x plus 2 over 9 then we can have cosec cube 3x then minus 2 over 3 cosec 3x as our final plus remember plus c so it is plus c so plus c and plus c all right so uh thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in another section